adventure fans, calling all Dick Tracy fans, stand by. Here comes Dick Tracy now. Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice, those specially delicious refreshing cereals that are shot from guns to give you lots of trigger fast food energy, now bring you another electrically transcribed episode in this new series of thrilling Dick Tracy adventures. Listen to that big gun. That's the sound you hear all day long at the Quaker plants, where Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice are made. It's actually shot from guns, you know. Now, that may seem a strange way to make cereals as delicious and refreshing as puffed wheat and puffed rice are. But there's a reason. When nourishing grains of wheat and rice are shot from these special Quaker guns, they're exploded to eight times their normal size. And that gives puffed wheat and puffed rice those tempting, different flavors that thousands of boys and girls and grown-ups enjoy so much. It makes them specially easy to digest, too, so that you get their trigger-fast food energy quickly and easily. And remember, you need lots of that same kind of quick energy every day to be as alert and physically fit as Dick Tracy is. And here's another thing. The best way you can show Dick Tracy you're enjoying his swell adventures is to ask Mother to give you puffed wheat for breakfast one day and then puffed rice the next. That way you let Dick know you're with him and for him. And you have a delightful breakfast change the whole family enjoys. So ask Mother now to get you Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice from the grocer who displays the Dick Tracy Secret Service Patrol headquarters sign right away. The inhabitants of Pitchblend, a mining town in the Canadian Northwest, live in terror of Vernon Kyle and his lawless gang. Already robbed of half their minds, the townspeople find courage in Dick Tracy's arrival to refuse Kyle's latest demand that their Pitchblend ore, which contains radium, be transported by his plane at an exorbitant charge rather than by dog sled. Despite Kyle's threats, the dog teams, guarded by Pat Patton and some mounted police, are en route to Peel River. Meanwhile, at Mounty headquarters, Tracy, Captain McKean, and Junior hear a weird cry in the night as a mysterious horseman gallops on by the wind, leaving his note at their door. You cannot win alone against the snake that calls itself Vernon Kyle. I will help you. And it's signed, the Purple Rider. Purple Rider? Gee, I wonder who he is. Yeah, I can still see him. It's a hooded rider galloping across the moon. Well, there he's gone now, over the brow of that hill. Well, Tracy, what does this mean? What do you make of it? Well, offhand, McKean, I'd say that the miners here about are not the only ones who have a grievance against Vernon Kyle. It seems to be someone else. Someone, I might add, with an obvious leaning toward theatrical effect. Well, what, what do you think this purple rider plans to do? Oh, as to that, McKean, your guess is as good as mine. We can only wait and see. A purple rider? Gosh, it sort of makes me feel... Oh, I don't know. Sort of creepy, Dick. Well, Junior, I should say that's the effect it's intended to produce, especially in our friend Vernon Kyle. Might be that the Purple Rider hopes to scare Kyle into leaving town, but of course that's just a guess. Nevertheless, whatever the reasons of the Purple Rider happen to be, he's definitely acting outside the law, and it'll be our job to capture him now as well as Vernon Kyle. Yes, Captain. You're quite right about that. Quite right. Hey, Kyle. Joy, oh, yours are swelling up like a balloon. You sure you don't want some ice or something to put on it? Well, I want anything I'll ask for. Oh. I think that fool Patton broke a tooth when he hit me this afternoon. I'll get him for that, I swear I will. Yeah, but how about those dog sleds and the fellows are driving them? They're the ones we ought to get right now. Don't you think I know it? Yeah, but what are you going to do about it? I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. What do you mean? It's simple. I said I'd get Patton and I said I'd stop those dog sleds. Well, the boys are on their way to Dead Man's Pass right now. They'll get there before the dog sleds do. And it's going to be just too bad for Patton and the rest of them. You're <laughs> going to shoot them up a little, eh? Don't be a fool. Think I want to find myself at the end of a rope? No, no. Tracy knows I'm out to get those dog sleds, and he heard me say I'd get Patton. Well, I'm going to do both those things, all right. But I'm going to do it so that Tracy won't be able to pin anything on me. Yeah, but how are you going to do it? Why's they got their orders? Well, aren't you going to let me in on it? You talk too much. Oh, now, listen, Ren. I, I can keep my mouth shut. Let me in on it, will you? I don't like this guy Patton or Tracy, for that matter, any more than you do. Not a chance. What time is it? Mm, eight o'clock. Why? Baldy was supposed to be here by 7.30, and he ain't showed up yet. Have a look outside. Maybe he's at the bar. Okay. Jump on, Kyle. Look at this. What is it? Quiet. 
fool. I'll be hanged if it isn't a knife stuck in the door with a note attached to it. A knife with a note? Let me see it quick. Here, here you are. You will never see Baldy again. He is the first. Signed the Purple Rider. What the... Jumping Jenny Wren! Hey, what does it mean? You see what's written here, can't you? It says we'll never see Baldy again. He's the first. What does that mean, the first? Well, it must mean that somebody else will be the second, Kyle. Hey, I, I, I don't like this. Say, who is this Purple Rider? You ever hear of him before? No, but I wouldn't be surprised to hear that Tracy's behind this. Yeah, the more I think of it, the more I'm sure. He's trying to frighten us out of town. Well, he won't get away with it, I tell you. He won't get away with it. Mush! Mush! Get along there! Oh, boy, this wind sure is sharp and cold. It goes right through these furs. Sure does. We're used to cold nights up here, but we don't get many like this, I can tell you. Are you boys going to make camp for the night? Later on, Patton, after we get through Dead Man's Pass. That's the halfway mark, you know. Yeah. Hey, you know, it's funny. I always had the impression that you men rode in your dog sleds. And all you've done since we left Pitchblend is to run behind them and steer them. That's right, Patton. Of course, sometimes we hop on the runners in back for a little rest. But most of the time, we run along with the dogs. Yeah, I notice the dogs keep up a mighty steady pace. Yes, Patton, that's right. Last longer that way can serve their strength. I see. Say, what's that howling I hear? Them wolves off in the hills howling to that big white moon up there. Yeah, sort of weird sound, isn't it? Hey, get used to it. Ah, oh, there's Dead Man's Pass up there. Yeah, I see. Just an hour pass running between those cliffs, huh? Yeah. Once through there, we can pitch camp for the night and sit down to a good mess of pork and beans. Hey, you men! Dead Man's Pass straight ahead. Okay. Get a move on. Well, we're coming into Dead Man's Pass now. Say, look at those cliffs of snow and ice towering about it on both sides there. That's yep. so many other. Yep. Gosh, they're beautiful. Especially with the moon shining on them. Yeah, another five minutes and we'll be through. And then for that pork and bean. Oh, I could do with a mess of pork. Hey, hey, what, what, what's that? The snow. It's... Coming down! It's a snow sign! A snow sign! Run for your lives! Run, you fools! Run! 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 Well, Tracy, I think it's about time for me to be hitting the hay. How about you? Well, not for a while yet, McKean. I want to finish this chapter on radium before I turn in. Well, if you're going to stay up, maybe I'll stay up a little while and finish another pipe. Well, now, please don't feel you have to play host. Uh, we get so few visitors up here in the wilderness, I'm glad to have a chance to chat about things. I know just how you feel. Say, are those wolves howling? Yes, baying at the moon, I guess. Not a sound you city folks have often. Now, up here in the loneliness, <laughs> we're used to it. Well, I suppose so. It certainly has a lonely quality, hasn't it? You can imagine what it's like out there in those frozen wastes. You know, this country makes a man feel like... Huh? Oh, what can that be at this time of the night? There's only one way to find out. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. Jack! In the name of heaven, hurry. Hurry, man. Well, what's happened to you? A dead man's pass. The dog sleds. The snow slide. What? Avalanche. Oh. Hurry or it'll be too late. Did you say a snow slide? Yeah. Every sled buried beneath the snow except mine. I was in the rear. I was just about to enter the pass when... What had happened? For heaven's sake, hurry. But Tracy, what'll we do? Round up as many men and dog teams as we've got. We've got to save those men. Yes, but can we? Bury beneath the Don't snow. Don't talk, man. Act. Round up your men. Get every dog sled available. And as many shovels as you can find. We've got to save those men, and we've got to start at once if we're to do it. Hell, heaven help us to be in time. Fuck you, dogs. Come Get along, man. Push. 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 Don't let up. Come on. The lives of the men may depend on those animals. Uh, it's strange, Tracy. Very strange. Oh, what is it, uh, There's never been a snow slide at Deadman's Pass. They can't figure out what could have caused one at this time. And one Push. just as those men were passing Push. through, too. Well, the fact that there's never been one before, and this one happened just as the men were passing through... Those aren't meaningless, unrelated facts. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, McKean, that that pass was exploded. I know it sounds like a wild guess, but I have a strong hunch. Dynamite was used to move that snow, 
At precisely the right moment to trap those dog sleds. You uh, think Vernon Kyle did it, eh? Yes, sir. I'm quite certain that Vernon Kyle is mixed up in this. But I'm not certain that we'll be able to prove it. He didn't want that dog sled party to get through. He also wanted to get back at Patton. He's chosen the one method by which he could accomplish his plans and cover his tracks at the same time. Well, if he's responsible, we'll find some way of getting him. I hope so. Keep the moving, McKean. Get along there. And Tracy, we've got to save those men. I feel a sense of personal responsibility, and I'm sure you do. But they've got families, many of them, and if they should die... Well, think about it. Keep moving. Hurry, you men. Keep up with us here. Yes, it's oh. my house. We're doing the best we can. Hey, Tracy, look. There's Deadman's Pass ahead. Yes. Look at that mound of snow. Watch. Gonna have our hands full digging them out of there. Well, we've got to save them. We've got to. And we will, McKean, if it's humanly possible. All right, men. Pull up. We're here now. All right, pull the sleds over to the side. And get those shovels and get busy. Oh, hey, if they're buried under all that snow, they haven't got a chance. Yeah, that's what I say. What are you men talking about? There's one chance in a million to save those men. We've got to take it. We've got to dig until we collapse. Now get in there and start. Every second counts. Okay, Mr. Tracy. Get there, boys. Come on, get there. Get there. Come on, get there. Get Hey, I'm having a boys. Here's one of them. Come on. Help me pull him out. Gee, he's frozen. Come on. Who is it, Tracy? Pat. Pat, speak to me, old man. Speak to me. He's finished, if you ask me. Don't stand around, you man. Keep on digging. There are others in there. Get them out. Keep digging, you hear? Keep digging. Come on, boys. Keep on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pat. Pat, old boy. Tracy, is he... Is he... I don't know, the team. I don't know. Come on, it's... Is Pat Patton alive or dead? And what will happen next in this drama of the forces of law against the forces of evil? We'll soon know. But now it's time for our Dick Tracy Secret Service Patrol meeting, and all you boys and girls are invited to attend by Quaker Puff Wheat and Quaker Puff Rice, those two specially delicious, refreshing cereals that are shot from guns to give you trigger-fast food energy. All right, Junior, we're ready. The meeting will now come to order. And today, Miss Tress Trueheart has a special message for you. Yes, Miss Trueheart wants to congratulate all the girls on the way they're getting their friends to join the National Girls Division of the Dick Tracy Secret Service Patrol. And Dick Tracy sends congratulations to the fellas, too. You're doing a swell job. Dick and Tess want me to remind you all to be sure to sign your patrol pledge in the presence of your mother when you get it. That's very important. You know, the patrol pledge really does mean a lot. That pledge has been a lasting bond between Dick Tracy, Pat, and me through all our adventures together. Just like the Three Musketeers, eh, Junior? Yes, sir. All for one and one for all. And Dick would like to know that every real red-blooded boy and girl in the country has signed that same pledge that means so much to us. Hear that, fellows and girls? If you've signed your pledge, you know how much that means. But if you haven't joined the patrol yet, send for your membership now. Get your secret code book, your patrol pledge, an official badge, free... Now, here's all you do. Just send two Quaker Puff Tweet or Quaker Puff Rice box tops with your name and address printed on a plain piece of paper to Dick Tracy, Box L, Chicago. And on this piece of paper where you print your name and address, also print Girls Division if you're a girl, or if you're a boy, just print the word boy. Remember, Quaker Puff Tweet... And Quaker Puffed Rice are the two specially delicious cereals that give you trigger-fast food energy because they're shot from guns. So ask Mother now to get you some of each from the grocers right away. Calling all adventure fans. Calling all Dick Tracy fans. Stand by for another exciting, electrically transcribed Dick Tracy adventure tomorrow at this same time. There goes Dick Tracy now. That is all. 